Oh my god. Disturbing body camera video shows Ohio police officers react as they find an emaciated three-year-old weighing only 16 pounds clinging to life in a roach-infested apartment. Oh, she's still breathing. She's still breathing. Let's go. Let's go. The shocking incident unfolded on January 8th in Fairborn, Ohio, about an hour west of Columbus and an hour northeast of Cincinnati. That's where a 911 call came in for an unresponsive little girl. Investigators say it was the girl's mother, Rabia Mubali, who called 911. Body camera video shows first responders arrive on the scene. Which one is it? At first, the officers aren't sure where they're headed. Which one is it? Left? Isn't that the old, the older lady? Uh, they always come out here and check. But soon, they determine the correct apartment. It's the one on the left-hand side of your screen. The left answer. All right, let's go in. Investigators call out, announcing that they've arrived and are entering the home. Fairborn Police. Fairborn Police Department. You can see as first responders enter the apartment, it's disheveled, with various items sprawled all over multiple rooms, almost verging on a hoarding situation. There's an audible reaction when officers see the scene that they later described as deplorable. Oh, oh my God. God. But the officers push on and continue to search the apartment. Come on. They again call out, announcing their presence. Fairborn police. I'll go. Body camera video captures the emotional moment when a responding officer first spots the little girl. She's been blurred out in this video, but officers say she was huddled in the corner of the room covered in bug bites. They say she weighed only 16 pounds and was unresponsive. She was found near a bed that had been severely soiled. At first, the officers believe the girl isn't alive. You can hear the moment of relief when they realize she's still breathing. Oh, she's still breathing. She's still breathing. Let's go. Let's go. As video shows, the responding officers spring into action. She's still breathing. Get a light. Almost immediately, backup arrives and rushes to the girl's aid. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Let me get out of the way. It Holy didn't look like cow. it. I'd say just pick up and look good. Yeah. yeah. Video then shows first responders carry the girl out of the home. She was later taken to the hospital. Two ninety-five. All right. Excuse me. Call code enforcement, have them respond, please. It all happened so fast that when first responders found the girl, they weren't even sure whose home they were in. Who lives here? We haven't even got that far. Mm -hmm. uh, let's get pictures started. I'm going to call Johnny. Eventually, police determined it was the girl's mother, Rabia Mubali, who called police. Well, right now we're trying to figure out a whole bunch of things, right? A whole bunch of details. Just seconds after this body camera recording began, Mubali asks if she can sit down. Officers tell her she can take a seat in their squad car. You mean if we sit? My back is killing me. Um, what do you, you want? To sit down. <laughs> you can have a seat in the back of the Yeah, we're going to have, you can have a seat in the back of my car. Um, That's when officers confirm Mubali is being taken into custody. Are you guys taking me? What's that? Are you guys taking me? Uh, yeah. We are. Mubali can be heard asking officers whether she can give her stuff to someone nearby. After that, they walk her toward the squad car. 
So I'm let's. Stuff to him, I'll, I'll take care of that. Let's uh, let's walk in the front of my car. All right. Okay, just right here is good. Um, if you want to face my car. Video captures an officer pat down Mubali to make sure she doesn't have any weapons. Just put your hands out to your sides. Nothing, nothing on your uh, in your pockets at all. No pockets. You have um, just underwear underneath your sweats. Not underwear. Just your sweats. Okay. Oh, perfect. Three twenty-two. All right. With that, Mubali is cuffed. Go ahead and put your palms together behind your back. Three twenty-two. Tell me how. Tell me how to say your name. Up next, Mubali speaks with a detective. Rabia. Okay, Robbie, my name is Ryan Whitaker. I'm a detective, uh, and I am the detective that's going to be handling this case. I'm sorry? I, I can't. I, I can't. Um, it's going to be a little bit, so right now. The detective explains that he'll discuss further with Mubali when they head to the police department. Now, um, you're going to be taken to the Fairborn Police Department. Uh, there's some, some administrative things that we have to do there, uh, take a, a picture and some, some fingerprints, but I'm going to be down to talk to you uh, soon, okay? All right. Um, we'll work through it. So I, I, can't, I can't give you an answer like that only because I don't know. Um, but Much of the next few minutes has been redacted, so we don't know what Mubali and the detective discussed. We do know she again asks about the person off camera, saying he needs to bring her daughter's things to the girl's father. Let's go around to the pastor side here. We have a seat. What's this fellow's name back here? Travis, can Travis. you please tell him that that stuff right there needs to go to my kid's dad? Okay. The one that was over here earlier. Just, just hang out right there, man. I'll be right with you. That's when Mubali is loaded into the back of a squad car. Uh, just give me a second. All right. Let's pause this body camera video just for a second to thank Morgan and Morgan for sponsoring it. I mean, I think it's pretty clear from the body cameras we cover, it's not always safe out there. And when you're hurt, it can be pretty confusing and even scary if you don't know where to turn. Well, Morgan and Morgan is the largest injury law firm in America. And at a time when you already have a lot to think about, they make it super easy for you. They have completely modernized the process because you submit your claim, sign contracts, upload documents, and talk to your whole legal team all on your phone. That's it. An attorney will review your case in just eight clicks. Also, they have 4,000 support staff that can help you too, which is amazing to think about. And in terms of price, well, you only pay them if you win. There's no upfront fee. So if you're injured and want to join the over 3 million people that call them every year, you can submit a claim at www.forthepeople.com slash lcbodycam or by dialing pound law. That's pound 529 on your phone. Okay, let's get back to that body cam. As the officer is about to shut the door, Mubali asks if he can adjust her handcuffs due to back problems. Is there any way you could cuff me in the front? I have spinal problems and this really hurts. Yeah, okay. yeah, I can do that. The officer agrees and moves the handcuffs to the front. Just, uh, can you turn, can you turn? Uh, let's see here. Hang on a second, there we go. All right, just a uh, second. Oops. All right. So I am going to... Sorry. Uh... 
Next, Mubali asks about her daughter, and the officer explains what she's being charged with. Do you know anything about her condition, if she's okay? Um, I do not. Um, right now, you're being arrested for child endangering um, at a felony level, okay? A felony level? Yes. Um, we um, are still, we, we're doing our thing that we have to do, okay? Uh, as Detective Whitaker mentioned, he will be in speak with you. Uh, right now, we're going to go to our jail in Fairborn and uh, process on those charges and then um, go from there. In this next portion of the recording, Mubali can be seen crying before the officer closes the door. And as we go through these, this process, I'll try to answer any questions I can best of my ability, okay? All right. Yeah. We'll try to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mubali is being held in jail on a child endangerment charge. She's also ongoing mental health evaluations. As for her daughter, officials say she has a long road to recovery, but has gained weight since her rescue. Reporting for Long Crime, I'm Sierra Gillespie.